more exposure a little bit, I think. So you really use it a lot, the the, the video or on tour, or, or well, no, well, I try. Um, sometimes I forget to this battery, and then I'm trying to learn how to think when I go home. Right. Charge it. Right. Right. Because no matter how small it is, then yeah. you always want to go. Full. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Trouble is, I don't remember. <laughs> I know. If I, I get home, to. I'm too tired. <laughs> so I don't do yeah. it. At some point, I had heard like MC Richards talk about um, you and John Kate had having some kind of mission, uh, or um, uh, some kind of you know angels have with a mission or something like that. This is you in the, yes, where she wears the one. <laughs> yeah. She's a wonderful person. And uh, as I was just wondering if you f you you felt like that that's true, or you, that there was a mission, or there was a something that you felt like you had to do or to bring or. Um, well, I could only answer that yes and no, <laughs> because um, <laughs> because um, when we started to work together, and John proposed that we work right. this way, it was uh, it was difficult, but it was also interesting, right? Because it produced. Uh, uh, situations which I wasn't at all familiar familiar with, of course, right. having always uh, or previously worked uh, in a more conventional way. And um, I, don't, I don't think it was, I didn't think it was a mission. Right, okay, <laughs> but okay. I, I, I just thought it was interesting. Right. And I'd rather do this or explore it right. than not do it. Right. So we we just continue, and it it grew more in, in many ways more complex later on, right. of course. But the beginning was uh, complex. Uh -huh. Was was difficult. It was like um, I think anything that's very new, right? You don't know. That's right. You 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 don't you don't have any real. Um, I mean, you're f foraging around in unknown ground or right. whatever. Yeah. And then all these strange things come up, right. and you can be put out by that, and think, and, and it's also difficult. Right. Or on the other hand, you can think, well, it's so interesting. <laughs> I'll just continue. <laughs> but the interest maybe was because you were, maybe did you feel like you were opening doors in some ways, something that was not done around you or ever before? Was that maybe the part of the challenge and the interest of it, or? I think so. Uh, I mean, not the fact that other people didn't do it. Okay. But it 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 was so odd uh -huh. to think that way uh -huh. and work that way, and yet it was fascinating. Right. And then um, we once um, were on a short tour together, and we gave a, de a lecture demonstration where. Um, um, John said we didn't want to do a, a lecture and that kind of conventional thing. So he suggested we make a short piece, uh -huh. a short right. thing, quite short, and, and show the way we work. Right. Okay. And um, so we explained the structure that we would work each one separately. To each other. No, right? we explained it to, to the, the audience. audience. Yes. Fantastic. So that they, even though they wouldn't know what it was, they would right. realize there was something going right. on. Right, right, right. And there was a piano, and he started to work there, and I went to the space. Right. It was all visible. There were right. All so you worked. The process was oh, visible. Yes. Oh, we just did it, and I explained we we had planned a three-minute sequence yeah. divided in very simply so that they could get it into one minute, one minute, and mm -hmm. one minute okay. for structural right. purposes. So and the process wouldn't be too work. long either. <laughs> and then when, uh, when uh, we started, 
I, I explained that we probably wouldn't get it done. Right. We just show, so we would show what we had done, say, after a minute. Right. And he would play what he had done, and uh -huh. I would do uh -huh. what I did. And uh, they, they applauded like a, a, as though you made a tennis mat. You know, you made some point. <laughs> And uh, we did finish the three minutes, uh -huh. and and we did them. I think we did them twice. Did it twice. Uh -huh. So that so they would see the, right. something of the way. And uh, uh, Louis Horst was there, and who was uh, who had been Graham's um, Martha Graham's uh, uh, musical director, uh -huh. and. Um, he came up to me afterward and he said, uh, that was interesting, Martha would never have done it. <laughs>
all the struggle through it or something uh, like that maybe well it, and, it, and and of course it as one explored it as I explored it it grew it grew more difficult right. but it also grew more interesting the whole uh, process of working right. this way right But it's, it's amazing because you talk about it, how difficult it was and arduous and all that, but now it is totally accepted in, in the sort of contemporary field to have, to see the body sort of split in, in different parts and yeah. different things happening at the same time on yeah. one body. Yeah. And you started that and yeah. now it's, it's accepted, oh, it yeah. seems. Well, now, now it's in a, right. in a way it's, it, it's familiar, not necessarily right. what people do, but the idea is more, and, and also I think the whole thing of the of the music and the dance not going together in a conventional sense right. is now uh, I, well I think it's it's, of uh, I think one of the things that made made it is um, television not uh, dance on television uh -huh. but on television where they put sound with That's what's right. going on That's right. and it's not conventional at all but right. now it is right. everybody it perfectly willingly accepts it, right. and so it becomes part of your conscious behavior. So right. The, right. So you don't, you don't when you when you see it or hear it, you don't suddenly think, "Oh, what's going on?" Right. It, 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 it just passes through you. That's true. Yeah. But I do think that uh, because I think there is, a, I mean, probably unconsciously, it's more. It would be more accepted, but probably, I think that there must have been something happening, like a. a a con um, actually, something contagious that you started in a way in the theater, and that well, that people sort of appropriate, even though people might have said, "Oh, I don't like this Cage Cunningham concept," but so probably they appropriated, and little by little, maybe ten years later, they did something similar or something like well, that. Well, I think I think television mm -hmm. by its nature uh -huh. um, uh, had that possibility in right, it. Right. Um, say they're showing clips very fast of a boxer than of a, of a ballerina right. or something else. They can't change the music, the music. Yeah. to fit it. They don't right. have time. Right. So they just play something. That's right. Some, and, and, and in principle that's what that is. Right. That, that, but the two things now, one puts them together. Right. That's right. Yeah, that's true. And also I guess they have the sound and the tracks separate and all that, so they, they're able to do that very yeah. easily. Yes. That's true. Yes. Yeah, but that's but that's true. That uh, how do you see that, or uh, how do you feel like about the fact that so many of those ideas, like dance and music and and things like that, have been a, accepted now? They're totally accepted, even with people. I think people choreograph in ways that they don't they don't even realize that it comes from you and Cage. That those ideas. Well, I don't think that way. I I, I mean I really don't. Yeah. I think what do you mean? I, I, what I mean is, I see that, that that's what happened. I was, right. uh, Trevor took me to a program at Dance Space uh -huh. last year right. with a great, uh, um, it was an AIDS benefit, right. and there were a great number of different companies, which I didn't know at all, of, yeah. of whose work I didn't know at all. Uh -huh. And our company was on it, so we were going to see that. So I said, well, couldn't we go early um, and stay a little right. longer? Because uh -huh. I'd like to see, see I'd like like to that. see what young people are doing. Right. I was astounded that how many of them in some way or another right. they always had music but it didn't necessarily um, it didn't almost never. Right. Never. Sometimes it was simply a sort of atmosphere. Right. Um, but it didn't um, in any conventional sense right. it didn't say fit the dance right. or in that way. Yeah. And or it, it simply produced another kind of uh, element. Right. More a surprise or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I, th I think, I think it's well. I think it's just part of what we do. Now. What we do now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you um? I think we have maybe two minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Before the show, <laughs> um, do you um? How do you see, or what, how do you explain, if, if it's explainable, the uh, evolution, uh, the technical abilities and the technical uh, evolution of dancers in the past 
you know, say 30 well, years. Well, uh, I, I think it goes way back. Uh -huh. I mean, Even way back. Oh, oh, I'm sure, way back to prehistoric times. So he's just... Uh, some so-called native uh -huh. doing a, a, something in a, in, a, in a part of a dance of their culture. Right. And one of them does something that's uh, by, through his spirit, you know, that is outlandish at the moment. Right. But somebody else is going to look at it and say, oh, I can do that too. Right. So they do it. Mimetism. Yeah, yes, part right. of that, yes. And also just, just I think, that, that idea in, dan in dance, which in, in, as it is in all sports, right. of if somebody's run the three-minute mile, I don't right. know what it is now, right. somebody else is going to make it less. So competition that's too. that's part of it. Yes, because um, the thing of, of um, adding or, or um, making something better in the right. terms of one way or another, how right. you think of that, is native, is part right. of us. I right. don't. I, right. Yes, and um, I thought um, that, um, that I, um, somebody told me once, right. and I don't know if it's true, but that Balanchine said uh, that you if you, in order to dance fast, I'm not quoting him, I just right. the right. idea, uh, you couldn't do a poem up at the same time. Well, I'm believing. <laughs> I, I, I really did. I thought that's, that's I didn't say ridiculous. <laughs> Cause, because I thought that there must be a way. Yeah. So I, that's in my technique why yeah, I lowered yeah. the balance thing down to the, to uh, the very low the torso. Yeah, right. that's right. right. That's right. Lowering the and that time. way you could uh, you could. Uh, it seemed to me you can do right. um, both the rapid different movements with the body right. and arms, as well as rapid different air, uh, movements on the ground right. and in the air. And being it being very clear, yes, also oh yeah. for oh yeah. for the it's eye, complex, right? But but right. clear, right? Yes, right. yes, yeah. yes. Yes, um, uh, 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 Robert Rauschenberg, who recently made a new decor, wonderful decor for us. Um, he came to watch a rehearsal, uh -huh. and, and uh, Bob is a painter, so he looks right, and he looked, and afterward he turned to me and he said, "You make it complex on the bottom, and you make it complex on the top." <laughs> right, but uh, but but that was something to do, right? Uh, to, to my way of thinking, or to try to do, right? Whether, whether you made it or not, it's okay. Yeah. Do you think that was maybe a reference to also the uh, complexity of the arms, which is a uh, maybe oh, yes. a ten-year-old now that yes, you've yes. started to do that? But that's yes. definitely a a big shift in your oh, yeah. work. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, I, 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 when I began to see. A way to f formalize that right. in the sense so that I might be able to show somebody else right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the possibilities. Um, it, it, I've been trying for years to yeah. make a, a movements using the torso oh, no. and the head and so on, right. but that would be specific movements, right. and then I would work them out and then say add. Right. But with this, using chance Thank operations, right. I start with something more complex mm -hmm. in a way, and see then if one can arrive, if we can arrive at it. Right. I don't think this is a single-handed process. Right. It's always something with the dancers. <laughs>
uh, will facilitate this in a, in a way, uh -huh. uh, not, not immediately, but, right. but I, I, you know, I'm convinced that within some time, whenever, right. you'll be able to sit down and, in a sense, type out a dance uh -huh. and see it both, and you, you see, you could have it then in, in that skeleton form, right. like a, a music notation, right. and then you could also have, if it had been performed, a tape of the performance right next to it. Right. So, you, you, oh, yeah. so you would have the, so like say you have, like a, a musician might have a a, um, a score right. and also a recording or a tape or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that, not immediately, because right. movement is so complex. Right, exactly. That um, movement packs, in from, and people don't think of it this way, of course, except dancers, I think. But movement packs information right. in a way. If I sh you know, do this with right. my hand, right. you can immediately see it. Right. Now describe it. How long does it take? Exactly. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Hours, yeah, days. Yes, yes, in detail. <laughs> That's yes. right. That's why a, a dance can be three minutes, but a play has to be three hours. <laughs> That's right. So yeah. quick, so yeah. immediate. The yeah. information yeah. are so immediate. Oh, yes. I see what you mean. Yes. <laughs> And you thought that even, actually, video was giving this information even more immediately. Is that is that true? Then, yes, then I the think stage. so. In, in its way, because um, uh, uh, television, right. um, you um, you catch on to what's going on very fast, right. and say a repetition, which right. on the stage would seem proper that it be done six times right. or whatever, uh -huh. or whatever, but on the television that they you start to repeat and they change the channel right. and they can get back that's right before you finish that's right <laughs> and do you think the proximity the fact that also you know maybe close-ups or the oh, fact yes. that that also oh, influences oh. that because it's just oh, like yeah. it's closer to the eye in yes. that sense oh, oh yeah I think when Griffith in those early films uh -huh. devised uh, uh, um, close-ups right it absolutely radically changed, changed. our whole idea of how right. to look right of how we could look right. but it wasn't uh, he didn't take something else away he added yeah. to the whole scene certainly yeah, yeah. with the movies yeah, yeah. <coughs> great well thank you I, I <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> that's fascinating I, I, I don't know whether I got your head or <laughs> that's good yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think at some point I had just your hair and some of your shoulder. Well, that's, that's like probably.